My team has proposed the formation of a constantly operating council that deals specifically with reports and matters of disinformation within the pre-existing Cyberspace Operations Centre. The Strategic Capacity Council will decide on the appropriate actions according to each proposed case. The council will ultimately be made up of five members on the council with a staggered five-year term. They must be non-partisan independent bodies. Delegates from selected member states will be representing them in this council. And most importantly, they're free from overarching pressures or influence. The starting budget that we came up with will be 3% of NATO's security investment program, which is about 21.3 million USD. And this is funded through joint contrib contributions among member states. Um, the council will be able to exercise their discretion and selections of reports to the qualifying items necessary for report submissions, which are a threat to public safety. The threat scope has the potential to go beyond the cyber world, proof of external state interference and heightened state vulnerability, like during an election or a referendum, and polarization on societal significant matters. The legislation introduced by the Council will be an extension of NATO's Smart Defense Clause, which, which requires member states to implement cybersecurity systems that flag the algorithms that reproduce content that is deemed as purposefully misleading or concerning. These systems will be able to fact check to either um, validate or invalidate content, and states are required to formulate bot control by limiting account creations per IP address or any other means. Member states will also be supporting the pursuit of collecting collective security by providing the appropriate infrastructure, and this will be addressed in two main ways, the transparency initiative and the digital initiative, and the digital literacy initiative. Um, so for the probationary first year period, NATO will create a publicly available resource for educators and other interested parties to access. These resources will provide information on digital, digital literacy. Member states will be required to develop a digital literacy program that is funded by each country. And digital literacy is key to having an engaged and well-informed citizenry that is more resilient to this disinformation. Each member country will be required to create and maintain an online reporting system for civilian concerns. Potential act actions forward. Um, so for future reference, the council will release publicly available reports on potential disinformation threats and attacks with a focus on vulnerable state status, like during elections particularly. And the council will subsidize ads on highly trafficked social media sites. These ads will target communities and individuals that are most likely to be under disinformation attacks and will inform the viewers of such. Finally, um, one delegate from the council will maintain a relationship with companies such as Facebook in order to keep an online communication with NATO, the private sector, and the public. Thank you. <laughs>